Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. Here I am with one more important video for all my class 9 viewers and students. So this is going to be very important video because this has all the important questions from the chapter, Our Constitution. This is from class 9, Political Science section. So let's get started. But before that, if you're new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. So let's get started. Yes, also keep it in mind that all the history chapters, important question answers of part one book is uploaded in my channel and the link of the theme and the playlist will be, uh, link will be given in the i button above and at the end screen so you can watch it. So let's get started with our first chapter of political science, all the important questions. So first here we can see is fill in the blanks. The first question, the law which governs the states is dash. Answer is constitution. Next, dash was the chairman of the constitution drafting committee. Answer is Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Next, the state where the people enjoy sovereign power is called dash. Answer, republic. Next, the directive principles of state policy has been borrowed from the dash constitution. Answer is Irish constitution. So these are some of the important fill in the blanks from this chapter. Now let's see short answer questions which are important from this chapter. First question. Who was the president of the new constituent assembly? Answer, Dr. Rajendra Prasad was the president of the new constituent assembly. Second, when did the constitution come into practice? Answer, the Indian constitution came into force on 26 January 1950. Every year, we celebrate this date as Republic Day, right? So every year, we celebrate Republic Day. That's on 26 January, and that's because we got the Constitution on that day. So these were some of the short answer questions from this chapter. Now, let's look at the long answer questions. First one, what do you mean by secularism? Answer, the word secular has been incorporated in the Constitution through the 42nd Amendment of 1976. It means no religion has been given the status of national religion. Citizens have the liberty to practice any religion they desire. Okay, so this is the answer for what do you mean by secularism. Let's see second question. Explain the salient features of our constitutions. Answer, the salient features of our constitution are listed below. First, written and lengthy constitution, flexible as well as the rigid constitution, parliamentary form of government, republican system, fundamental rights and fundamental duties, Directive principles of state policy, independent and centralized judiciary, single citizenship, adult franchise, bicameral party system. Okay, so these are the salient or important features of Indian constitution. Next question, make a list of all the fundamental duties. Answer, there are 11 fundamental duties in our constitution. They are to respect the constitution, national flag and national anthem. To follow the noble ideals that inspired our national struggle for freedom. To protect the integrity of India. To defend the motherland when called upon to do so to promote and improve the natural environment, to promote the spirit of common brotherhood amongst all the people of India, to preserve our rich heritage, to develop the scientific temper 
and the spirit of inquiry. To safeguard public property and obtain from violence. Strive towards excellence in all spheres of individual and collective activities. The parents or guardians should provide an opportunity for education to their children from age of 6 to 18 years. So these are the fundamental duties mentioned in our constitution. Now next, what are the directive principles of state policy? Answer, with an aim to establish a welfare state, certain directive principles of state policy have been incorporated in the constitution. These serve as guidelines to the state. They are to provide adequate means of livelihood to all citizens, to prevent the community's wealth and resources from becoming the private property of a few people, to prevent equal pay for equal work to both men and women, and to protect labor welfare, to develop, to provide public assistance to those who are old, sick, weak, or helpless, to implement a uniform civil code throughout the country. To provide opportunities for healthy development and preschool education for all children below six years. To protect historical monuments and maintain places of historical interest. To separate the executive and the judiciary. To protect international peace and respect international laws, to establish gram panchayats, to encourage rural and cottage industries, to organize and develop agriculture and animal husbandry on modern lines, to ensure the prohibition of liquor. So these are the directive principles of state policy which has been made to establish a welfare state a good state, a helpful state, okay? So now let's move to the next question and here the question gets over. So these are the only the important questions which could be asked in the exams. There are possibilities of these questions. So these were presented here in this video. If you want the full notes of all the question and answers as per your textbook, you can again check my playlist for the entire notes. There's also a video uploaded with the entire notes and all the question and answers which are given in the textbook regarding this chapter or related to this chapter. So here we end with this video of the important question answers from this chapter particularly. And if you want more such videos, stay tuned and do hit the like button if you like the video and felt if it was an important one. So let's meet soon. Thank you.